Hello, boss and girls. My name is Hotsus here, and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, last time we did some uh, improvements uh, to get the latest tier uh, tools, machines, and so on. And we also noted that uh, we probably should opt our production of yellow and purple signs because that's lacking a bit behind and one thing that i noticed in that context is that uh, our petroleum gas might be a contributing factor to that this is up here you see two refineries of the of the whole bunch is running so we don't really get enough uh, petroleum out of it and that's mainly due to the fact that this oil field or these two is almost done so we need a new oil field that down here and while we are at it i will also add a new uh, refinery where we basically only focus on the petroleum <coughs> not all the side products like uh, lubricant light oil sulfuric acid uh, we have all that and we will have to see if uh, we need more of of those well probably light oil for the rocket fuel at some point but then we probably will have similar production facility for light oil where we have a specialized setup to optimize maximum output of what we wanted instead of this more generic approach where we have a bit of uh, everything but not enough of anything so with when we place down an uh, oil rig down here that probably means our pollution cloud will spread in this area so we have to to uh, clear that out and as you can see here from uh, from the uh, crafting I am already in the process of preparation and I think why not try and do something differently than I did in the past and use a spider tron to uh, deal with the mess down there. But that needs a few more resources than I currently have. So let's take one step at the time and for example fill in the land here and enlarge that and then have this going down here and a bit more land food we also need a bit of water for our refinery but uh, this this edge here that should be uh, sufficient so let me grab more landfill then uh, i will put in a few more rails not only uh, just uh, the, the one down there but basically i think i plan out all the grid uh, down to to that oil field so we can actually have that going I should be ready for the build up by now. I have quite a few materials. We have the extended rail network all the way down here, and we even have a Spidertron, uh, which is for now equipped with uh, laser defense. We will see how that goes. Um, and uh, if it is enough um, to uh, to keep uh, the the 
aliens a pay or if we need more um, so uh, let's start here with uh, a bit of uh, the unloading that probably goes to there and then here there we need another signal that's the unloading and then for the most part we can just copy this setup here um, let's do this and shall we have it here we will have it we will have it up here we leave a bit of space there but that will do and probably i run out of um, um, of pipes or underground pipes so let's do that then This one, there we need water. So I should have a water pump somewhere in here. If I can find it, water pump, where are you? I deconstructed some there. So, yeah. And then we also need this bit down here. pump there because this is light oil we will convert all the light oil to petroleum and that means we also need this Let's, let's try that again. That would then go here. But even here we don't need a pump. Um, we need more pipes. And then we need to see how to get everything around. And then what we will do here is have a proper waiting bay for trains to load petroleum and a loading station because up here it's just a one station where we can where we can load so i will grab a few more pipes some underground pipes uh, to to finish what we let out there and then we will figure out how to do the station all the pipes are in and as you just saw it's working somewhat and it's only somewhat working because we have no storage yet for the petroleum gas and we will do that uh, by actually um, having here the, uh, the output uh, so we can have uh, 
that's probably not enough. Um, if we want to have basically the output there coming back on here. Um, let's clear out a few trees so we can actually see what we are doing. Then station here, after the station we want to have a signal, then we want to have a pump there. And that means we should have tanks there. And let's make it this big. And let's clear some more here on this side. Um, here we can have the power. And then let's this uh, pump there and pump there So we will need another signal there. And then we can basically go this way. And we can fill this in and have a few few waiting bays um, for the loading station. So I will need a few bit more uh, landfill, but we should have that. And then we have the refinery for the petroleum, and we only need to clean out uh, undesirables and um, place down our new oil field. We have five waiting bays in, so that means we can have six trains going to that station and then let's actually copy the station to this uh, uh, we said six and that means trains will soon arrive here and load up on petroleum there is already the first one that should be a, a pretty pretty neat and quick and you can see we do have quite a few trains or a few stations that actually want petroleum that we just could not cover up the demand however we are still a bit short on on crude oil so uh, that's what we will focus on next. The oil field is hooked up and ready. So maybe what we should do is here on this oil field or on this station say, okay, let's only uh, allow one train going there. Um, but let's uh, keep the, the station and then we should see more trains coming down to to here probably one train will always wait up there but actually what we can do is 
have one of our new trains. And there we have the, the first train, so let's copy that and have another train going. So with that out of the way, let's see what that does. So far it's not yet too bad, but I would imagine that soon this pollution cloud will expand and let's send the the spidertron down here and spidertron can also have some uh, some rockets but I'm trying to, to avoid that I'm just having this uh, zigzag way and at least for this nest it seemed to have worked so let's come back here then we can repair and have another go at the nest down here. That was not too bad and did not take too much damage and actually we can also hop in now that I've seen that uh, the, the Spidertron can actually survive uh, a nest that size I'm not so fast about getting in as, as well and I also have some some uh, laser turrets so that should probably uh, uh, everything that we have going on there and that's this nest and then that's this spider tron is, is pretty buff and with uh, a few robots uh, in the grid uh, that means we can pretty much heal up uh, fast as well and I'm not sure if there is a land bridge no it is not but pollution does not care for bridges over water actually the pollution spreads faster um, over the water than over uh, land, at least land as green as, as we have here. So let's get back here and end this episode. I think with the new oil field, the new refinery, we are in a way better situation to fulfill our needs for petroleum, which is mainly for plastics, which again mainly is for red circuits. And with things on the horizon like uh, uh, rocket control units, but also uh, uh, all the, uh, the modules or at least uh, productivity and speed modules that means quite a few more uh, red engine uh, red circuits are needed but that will be a, a project for next time 
So what's what's up here? Was everything stopped? Output full. Which output? The heavy oil. Can I get here to the other side? This is full. Ah, oh, yeah. This going on. And this pipe can be removed. I think that was the original uh, blueprint. That's, that's for the lubricant, which we don't have here. But this should have us going for quite a while. So, uh, all good for now. See you next time. Goodbye.